This video will show how to set up single sign-on for the AWS application using SAML protocol with MiniOrange as an IDP. In this video, we will configure AWS as a service provider and MiniOrange as an identity provider. First, we will get the SP metadata from the AWS admin console. Then configure the AWS application as a service provider in MiniOrange. After that, we will configure MiniOrange as an IDP in AWS by uploading the metadata file obtained from MiniOrange. At last, we will test the SSO login. First, log in to your AWS admin console. On the AWS dashboard, click on Services. Under the Security, Identity and Compliance section, select I am Identity Center. Here select, choose your identity source. Here under the action menu drop-down, click on change identity source. Now select the external identity provider and click next. To configure AWS as a service provider, click on download metadata under the service provider metadata section to download the XML metadata file. You can also directly copy the ACS and SSO issuer URLs below. Now let's go to the Mini Orange dashboard by logging in as an admin. If you don't have an admin account, sign up by clicking the link in the video's description below. To add AWS as an application, go to the Setup App Card and click on the Setup button. Now click on SAML Application Type. Here search for the AWS application. Here, you can copy and paste the AWS SP metadata values or upload the XML metadata file from here. We are going to import the metadata file, which we downloaded from the Service Provider section of AWS. Enter the app name, select the SP metadata type as file, and then upload the XML file. Go to the Attribute Mapping tab and make sure that the name ID format is selected as email address. Then save the settings. Your AWS app is configured successfully. Now click on Metadata from the drop-down to get metadata details. Click on the Show Metadata Link button and then download metadata. The metadata file is downloaded successfully. We will need this to set up Mini Orange's IDP in AWS console. Now, go back to the AWS console from where you downloaded the XML file. Under the Identity Provider Metadata section, upload the metadata file you downloaded from the Mini Orange dashboard. And click Next. Now scroll down and accept the terms by typing Accept in the box here, and then click Change Identity Provider. You have successfully set up the Mini Orange's IDP in the AWS console. Now under the Identity Source field, you can find a link under AWS Access Portal URL. Use this link for AWS SSO. Now let's test the AWS SSO login. Go back to the AWS Admin Dashboard. Under the Settings Summary field on the right-hand side, click on the AWS Access Portal URL, which will redirect you to Mini Orange IDP sign-on page. Enter your credentials, and you will be logged into AWS Console. We also support automatic user and group provisioning into AWS via Skim protocol. You can check the link in the description below to set up automatic provisioning. I hope I was able to make you understand how to configure SAML single sign-on for a WS application using Mini Orange as an IDP. To enjoy a seamless authentication experience and delegate all single sign-on requirements with a click of a button, please feel free to reach out to us by email or in the comment section below, and we will get back to you at the earliest.